The Russian invasion in Ukraine has put European energy and climate security through its most difficult test so far. Russia has cut the natural gas supply to Europe in an attempt to undermine the EU unity on sanctions. Germany and Italy have emerged as two of the most vulnerable countries in terms of security of supply risks and geopolitical exposure to Russia. This is one of the key findings from CSD's Energy and Climate Security Risk Index that can help track energy security and climate vulnerabilities faced by EU member states. The index has four pillars, geopolitics, reliability, affordability, and sustainability. Since 2014, the share of Russian gas has increased from 34% of total gas imports in Germany in 2009 to 49% by 2019. Similarly, Italy doubled its reliance on Russia and now accounts for roughly one-fifth of the EU's annual gas import from Russia. Germany and Italy have been the main drivers of the EU energy dependence on Russia. Germany and Italy still have a heavily oil-dependent transport sector and not enough diversity of the electricity mix. Coal is back on the rise in Germany as Berlin considers reducing the gas consumption and phasing out nuclear power. Italy depends on natural gas for half of its electricity generation, and 40% of this comes from Gazprom. Germany should avoid a gas lock-in based on new long-term energy supply contracts. Hence, they should be limited to five years at most, and preference should be given to floating instead of fixed LNG terminals. The growing dependence on natural gas imports and the lack of diversification has brought energy prices to record high levels in Europe. Retail electricity prices in Germany were 27% higher than the EU average in 2021 and amongst the highest on the continent. Italy was one of the hardest hit EU member state by skyrocketing power prices due to its gas dependence. A return to higher coal and gas power generation has reversed some of the energy transition policies in Europe. Coal-fired power generation in Italy doubled since the start of the war in Ukraine in February 2022. Renewables in the power sector have been increasing all across the continent and energy consumption has fallen. These improvements are not able, however, to compensate for the rise in fossil fuel dependence. Natural gas demand is the strongest in the industrial sector. This is why the German government needs to accelerate the penetration of green hydrogen technologies and of renewables in covering the demand of large manufacturers. The current geopolitical crisis has demonstrated that the EU needs to put energy security and its governance back at the top of the policy priorities. Europe should sever all geostrategic and economic ties with Russia. Decisive action by Italy and Germany could weaken the Russian economic and political influence in Europe. One of the most important elements is to achieve a full Russian oil and gas phase-out by 2025 and to accelerate renewable energy investments. Another, to stop the flow of Russian illicit funds in Europe by closing glaring loopholes in the governance of the EU financial system that have allowed Russian companies to evade sanctions. Failing on both accounts could cost Europe's unity and, in the long run, its independence.